Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Garden. It's time for another fig update. We have lots of new growth on our figs this month. It's been super hot, which the figs are just really enjoying. And we have lots of main crop fig set. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's start with our in-ground fig today. So this is our Desert King. It's doing super, super well. It has three, it's the only tree I have that has more than two Brabas on it. So the Brabas are nice and big. We got three of them there. They should be ripening up here maybe by the end of this month, but we have lots of new growth. There's a few little main crop figs on there as well. So we might have enough time for some main crop to ripen on the Desert King. We'll have to see. We're having a really warm summer this year. There's some more main crop, pretty good size. Now here's the other in-ground fig that we have, and that is the Laterula. In my last video, there was no growth on it at all. So I thought it was dead, but I did do the scratch test and it looked like there was a little bit of life left towards the bottom. And you can see it's actually getting some growth here at the base, but I am considering actually removing this because the growth is pretty minimal and it's not really growing very much despite the nice weather that we've been having. So I may just remove this and plant a different variety here instead. Now the rest of our figs are here in front of the greenhouse and are in containers of various sizes. So let's start here with the Nero 600M. So this has been my most surprising and productive variety this year. And this is a pretty young tree. You can see it's pretty small. So the branches were starting to kind of go way out to the side. So I put this Y stake around it to kind of keep it in more. And as the fruits get bigger, they're just gonna get heavier and wanna go more out to the side. So we've got tons and tons of figs on there. We've got two Brabas, which are these two bigger figs down here. And the rest are main crop figs, which are getting pretty big. So we've probably, I think I counted about a dozen main crop figs on this tree, which is pretty incredible for this only being, it's about a year old tree. So it's really, really productive. Here we have the white Madeira. And this one is growing really pretty wonky. So we had this branch here that was kind of shooting way off to the side. And I took a cutting off of that because it was just too long and too wonky. We've got more branches that are just really going way out to the side. And then this one here is really long and it's actually touching the ground. So I may just take a few cuttings off of this in winter and just I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one, actually. But we've got uh, several main crops on here. We do have one Braba, and we have a few main crop figlets here on these other smaller branches. So we should get some figs off of this guy this year. This fig was labeled a Kathleen's Black that I got from somebody in Seattle, and it did produce fruit last year, but it obviously was not a Kathleen's Black because the fruit ended up being green and we aren't really sure what it is. It could be a laterula perhaps, um, but it's got some little figlets on it. These are actually some of the smaller main crops that I have, but we'll have to wait and see if they get big enough to harvest this year. But it's a nice looking tree, so I'll probably keep it. I'm just not for sure what variety it is. This one here is the JFE Black Madeira. And it's just got one single stem that kind of forks here towards the top. We've got a just a couple of little main crop figlets forming on that one. We didn't get any Braba on this tree, but it's growing a little bit slow compared to some of the other figs this year. So we'll have to wait and see if these guys have enough time to ripen. And here we have Robert's Golden Rainbow. We have several main crop figs here on this one. We've got two on this new branch and we've got a couple over here. And then we've got a bigger branch here towards the top with some nice size fruit on it. 
I have two figs in these self-watering green containers. The first one is the Burgessote Grease. And this guy has gotten a lot of main crop figs on it. We're having some really nice summer weather this year, so hopefully some of these will get big enough to harvest. And then the second one that I have in a self-watering container is the Figo Preto. And this is another one that takes a longer season to ripen, but we have some really nice sized fruits on here. They're looking much better than last year. So our summer weather this year, as I mentioned, has been really nice. We've had a lot of days in the 80s, um, which is really great for figs. So we should hopefully get some ripe figs off of this guy. In my last fig update, I was showing you the impressive number of Tacoma Violet Brabas that were on here. I think there was seven. Well, they ended up all dropping off. So all we have left now is the main crop. And after talking to some local fig growers, they have the same problem with Tacoma Violet. So it's not just me. And that was the only variety that dropped figs so far this year. So we do have lots of, of main crop figs on here all the way up this branch here and also on these other branches. So we should get a pretty good harvest of main crop on this one. And I also wanted to mention I have been pinching the tops of some of these figs. So you can see here, I pinched here and I pinched there and then also here. So some people do this to help um, get the fruit to grow faster so that the fig isn't concentrating on leaf growth. So it kind of stops it from growing here so that the energy goes into getting the figs to grow more quickly. Now this one here is another Burgessot grease. And this is one that I took a cutting off of the one that was in the self-watering container. So this one is growing much better. The other one was kind of growing off to the side, but this one is doing really well and it might even have almost as many figs on it as the one in the, the other container. So this is only a year, I think a year old fig, and we've got some really good, nice size main crop figs on this. And we've got some little tiny ones. So these little tiny figs, I'm pretty sure are not going to be big enough to harvest this year. So what I like to do is just pinch those off because they're not gonna mature in time. And you can see that white like sap stuff that's coming out of there. That is actually kind of toxic. So you don't wanna get that on your fingers because it could burn. But we've got, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this little guy. Um, but if I see any more come out, then I will definitely pinch those off. Last year, the Ronde de Bordeaux was my star fig. It had so many main crop figs on it that it was just, it was incredible. So I was really excited to see how it was gonna do this year. And I'm actually pretty disappointed. So it does have some main crop figs on there, but they are super small. So I'm not even sure if those are gonna ripen in time. I did pinch off some of these branches. I didn't pinch off that one, but I did pinch off this one, but all the figs are just really small on here. So I don't really know. I think these ones are probably the biggest ones, but those are just super small. So I'm not sure what happened with this variety this year, but it's kind of disappointing. Here we have the Marseille Black VS that I started from a cutting last year from Ivy Organics. And we have quite a few main crop figs on this little branch here. One, two, three, four. Um, there is another tiny one here, so I'm just gonna pinch that one off because that's not gonna mature in time. And there's another little one forming right there that I'll pinch off when it gets a little bit bigger. And we've got this little guy that's way down here. Um, I think I'm gonna take that off because it's not really gonna grow. And if we move up here, we've got some bigger figs up here. So those should ripen up this year. We've got some more smaller ones. We've got this tiny one here, so I'm gonna pinch that one off. And I did pinch the top leaf of that one off, so that should stop growing and hopefully get these figs a little bigger faster. So this one is the tallest fig tree 
in all the containers. And this is the Brandon Street Unknown, one of the new ones that I picked up just this year. And we've got lots of figlets on there. We have some pretty tiny ones too. So I'm gonna just take that one off and I think I'll take this one off too. See if there's any more. So I did pinch some of the top branches of this one too. I think I'll go ahead and yeah, I'll, I'll take that one off too. This big one here is actually a Braba, so that will be the first one to ripen. And then the rest are main crop figs. And here we have the Olympian, and I did trim several of those branches off on, on this one, the tops. But the figs on here are really quite small. So I'm not sure if those are gonna actually have time to ripen this year. But we've got several branches with some really tiny figs on them. Another one over here. We do have one Braba fig. So Brabas are the ones that grow on last year's growth. So that one is probably gonna ripen, but I'm not sure about the rest of these. These two are actually not too bad size, so those might ripen. But a lot of these, I think, probably aren't gonna ripen. And down here are the newer fig cuttings that I started this year. This is the white Madeira that I took off of the white Madeira I showed you before that was like touching the ground. So this one is doing really good. It actually has a couple tiny little figlets on there that I'm gonna, I wanna remove those because I don't want this small of a fig, fig cutting to try and produce fruit in its first year. So we wanna focus on root growth on that one. So took those off. And then we've got a little Ronde de Bordeaux here. It's actually growing a little bit slowly. It's a pretty thin cutting. So we'll have to wait and see how that one does. But I already have the big Ronde de Bordeaux, so I might just give this one away to someone locally. And then we've also got a little Ronde Bordeaux here, which I'm really surprised rooted because I let this container dry out pretty, well, I didn't let it, I kind of forgot about it, but it was really, really dry. So I was surprised to see it start leafing out, but it's doing pretty well. And then I also have, this is one, this is one that I picked up um, just, I think end of last year in a plant swap, it's called Stella. And we've got, it's actually a pretty thin trunk and then it forks here at the top, but I'm not seeing, I don't think it's gonna produce any figs this year because I'm not seeing any, any figs on that guy. So we might have to wait till next year, um, but I probably should pot this up into a little bit larger container. This is a pretty small pot there. So those are all the figs in the collection so far. Hopefully in my next video, we might have some figs to taste. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.